Pimps and Lemonade, the quintessential UK summertime drink. Perhaps a bit dull and boring for many bartenders, but despite that, hundreds of thousands of bottles get sold in the UK every single summer. It's the summer equivalent of the snowball. You know, it's such a simple drink to make, but palettes move on, trends come and go, but I absolutely guarantee it, the Pimps and Lemonade and the snowball will outlive both me and you. Now look, you don't need a video of me showing you how to make it. It's just Pims, lemonade and some fruit. But what may be fun is another STB inspiration masterclass showing you how to put fun new twists on your favorite summertime tipple. So come the end of this video, you'll be armed with a boatload of fun and inspirational Pims and lemonade variations that you can whip up this weekend or add to your pub and bar menus to make you a bit of extra cash. Cocktail fans, welcome back to the Drink Stuff YouTube channel. We are your one-stop shop for all your cocktail needs, except for the booze. My name, I'm Steve the Barman, and I'm just here for fun, inspiration, maybe a little bit of education along the way, but fun, inspiration to help you on your cocktail journey to put different twists on your favorite drinks. So for the teeny tiny percent of you that don't know what a Pims and Lemonade is, or never seen it before, and I'm probably talking to across the pond, or outside of the UK. Pims is just, it's essentially just a spirit, a spirit based drink. Back in the day, it used to be like vodka based or gin based or whiskey based. There were like six or seven different variations. Uh, these days, it's very, it, the, the recipe is kind of secret to be fair, um, but it's kind of, this is loosely regarded as like a gin. Uh, kind of cup if you like, if, if you want to call it that. 25% ABV, as simple as it goes, it's a sick, well, we're going for a double bubble, a double bubble of Pims. We're going traditionally lemonade, but I've got cans of Sprite here, so lemon lime soda. Uh, and this would uh, get made at parties, at weekends. Wimbledon, the tennis tournament, probably is responsible for most of the sales of Pims throughout the year. So it's kind of, you know, that, whatever, just glug in some, um, glug in some lemonade, whatever. Garnish-wise, I've got some oranges here, traditionally lemon and cucumber as well. Uh, I've got some mint ready to go. I've just got, just to kind of shout them out a little bit, I've got my uh, freeze-dried fruits, which is perfect for this, this kind of thing. So I've got some strawberries here, zero wastage on your freeze-dried strawberries. Uh, obviously, we need some ice. Oh, it's been ice, there we go. Just top it up with a bit of ice that's frozen in my cocktail shaker. You don't, look, you don't even need to mix it or to stir it. Perfect. And then just to garnish, we've got the sprig of mint. You have to garnish it with a sprig of mint. That is as simple as the Pims and Lemonades get. You know, it's just simple. It's really, really tasty. And it's fun. It's summer in a glass. But a beautiful thing with this drink, it's so easy to make it up as individual serves. It is so easy to make it up in jugs if you're a high volume out there or if you're at home having a garden party and you don't want to go back and forwards to the kitchen all the time. It is so, so easy to batch this up and to make it in big quantities. But I come back to the individual serves because traditionally, uh, you're probably going to make more money over time with individual serves. You're a pub or bar than you would do jugs because A, you could probably charge a little bit more for the individual serve and B, you're likely to get the sort of add-on purchases as well. Maybe the odd packet of crisps, a packet of nuts, a soft drink, a, a shot or something like that. You know, with a jug, you're probably just going to get that one sale every half an hour, every hour or so with an individual, you're probably gonna get three or four plus additional serves in the same time. So how do we go about riffing this up and coming up with PIMS variations? Well, I'm gonna take you down two different journeys, but step one, phase one, is the mixer. There is another very famous mixer that goes with the PIMS. We've got PIMS and lemonade, but we've also got, and I do actually prefer it this way as well, PIMS and ginger ale. Uh, kind of loosely classed the Pims Royale as well. Some people call it the Pims Royale with champagne, Prosecco, but other people call it the Pims Royale with ginger. Um, but, you know, my it's my favourite go-to serve, ginger ale with this. It just gives that... A, and to be fair, all ginger ale really, really, truly is, it's kind of like a lemonade or a soda, in a sense, with a tiny, tiny bit of ginger to it. It's not too far removed from the lemonade itself. I mean, don't confuse ginger ale with ginger beer. Ginger beer is much more feisty and much more ginger, much more in your face. Ginger ale is just really subtle with a tiny, tiny hint of ginger coming through the drink. Now... In this day and age, we can do so much better than plain old lemonade and plain old ginger, especially if we want to wow our guests, if we want to make impressions. I want to keep this video 
simple because I know full well that you're going to grab that bottle of Pims from your supermarkets. It's sold in every single supermarket, most village stores as well, to be honest. It is that massive summertime thing. So let's focus on brands that you will be able to get in your supermarkets. And we'll start off with Fever Tree. A lot of people kind of, I was chatting about this to some friends a few weeks ago. People have, still don't grasp the concept that you can just swap these out for your favorite lemonades, for your favorite mixes. And Fever Tree does this exceptionally well. So we start down this end. We've got what we call in the UK, Sicilian lemonade, Victorian lemonade, traditional lemonade. You guys across the pond, that's probably what you know is uh, like normal lemonade, cloudy lemonade. To us in the UK, Sprite is effectively lemonade, although, you know, Sprite is a lemon lime soda, essentially. So we've got that. Now I'm gonna to have to look at the bottles here because I can never remember all the flavors properly. But another lemonade, we've got the raspberry and rose lemonade. Now that I know for a fact is gonna work so, so well with the pimps. I'm not telling you to do anything different except for swapping your lemonade, your Sprite out for something like this. So pims and rhubar uh, raspberry and, what's it, raspberry and rose? Raspberry and rose lemonade. Now, FIFA Tree have started to come onto sodas. Now, this is where the confusion goes because sodas in the US uh, are kind of your fancies, your lilts, and all that sort of stuff. Soda in the UK is the drier, less sweet kind of stuff. However, uh, they have got a touch of sweetness to them, but plenty of flavors. So we've got, you know, in, uh, I think these FIFA Tree are swapping about quite a bit, but we've got the Mexican lime one with a hint of yuzu as well, which would be perfect for this. But we've got two new flavors here as well. Uh, raspberry and blood orange soda, which is absolutely delicious. I can confirm that the blood orange works exceptionally well with the PIMS as well. And we've got uh, the raspberry and rose soda as well. It's so very, very simple to this. We've got raspberry and rose lemonade and raspberry and rose uh, soda, kind of same thing, just stripped back of sweetness. Now we come on to the tonic waters. Now this is what I kind of want to drill into people. I'm going to say this time and time and time again. Do not class tonic waters as they were 15, 20 years ago. Tonic waters these days are just merely flavored soda waters. Most of the time with minuscule amounts of quinine, minuscule amount of bitterness in them. Uh, so they are not too far removed from uh, a soda water in their own right. They're just, a, they are flavor tonics, but they are flavored soda waters. You know, you are not gonna get massive quinine levels. So a classic riff would be the Mediterranean tonic water in that. I think that's, for me, is a go-to kind of riff on plain soda water in your mojitos and drinks like that, your Collins, your gin-based Collins drinks. Hence, I know that that, with that, is gonna work a treat. We've got, we've got the elderflower, we've got the uh, rhubarb and raspberry tonic water as well. So again, along those lines, but we've got the new sort of summertime seasonal passion fruit and lime tonic water. Passion fruit with that, you just know full well that that's gonna work. And if you're in a pub and bar environment, you can easily add a premium onto the prices for something like this compared to your normal lemonade that comes off the guns. Now the next brand of product I quickly wanna to come to, I should have done this at the same time as the ginger ale to be fair, but I love using this. It's kind of like a floral soda water. They call it Russian, Rus Ruskian, but Russian essentially. Yeah, it's got a C in, the, in there. But pink soda water, it's been around since the age of time. No one really knows what it is, but it's just kind of like a flavorful, sort of lightly aromatic, uh, floral, sorry, uh, aromatic kind of uh, soda water. It is perfect for this kind of thing. Touch of sweetness to it, not quite lemonade. It's got like berry notes to it. It just will work a treat and so easy to get from all your supermarkets. And then we come on to another brand that's huge in most supermarkets, London Essence, or as I like to cheekily call them, Posh Britvic. Um, they are. Um, so we've got a couple of different ranges here from London Essence. We've got the tonics. Again, the same applies to what I said, Fever Tree. Minimal qu minimum quinine in there, you know, to get that tonic vibe. So they're just class and really as flavoured uh, sodas, even though they've got their flavoured sodas round, uh, range as well. And there's another couple of flavours. This is all I get from my Tesco's, but I know Sainsbury's and Morrison's probably do some different ones as well. I've got the pineapple one here because I've got it because Britvic gave it to me at a, a show recently so I thought I'd get it out but I'm not quite as sure that I would put pims with pineapple. You could try it, why not, you know, but the rest of these I know are going to work very well. Uh, so the first one up, uh, peach, peach and jasmine, white peach and jasmine will be amazing riff in there. And then we come on to the tonic waters. They have just released, I'm sure they've released the grapefruit soda water, which is amazing. Absolutely love that stuff. I'm sure it's a soda, not a tonic, uh, because they've got a grapefruit tonic here. I'm sure it is, but I've tasted it. It's lovely. It's a bit more deeper red in colour. 
Um, we've got this, the Blood Orange and Elderflower Tonic Water. Again, a banging riff uh, with Pims. We've got this one, which is uh, Grapefruit and Rosemary, uh, which will work a treat as well. And then the final one I've got here is Pomelo. Um, kind of think a, a cross between a grapefruit and a citrus, kind of lemon, lime sort of vibe going on there. So we've got a Pomelo and a Pink Pepper. Um, so yes, that London Essence, big fan, slightly cheaper sometimes than Fever Tree, but they really do pack a punch with flavour. Then there's another brand that's been around quite a few years now. I think this is exclusive with Tesco's as far as supermarket goes, but you'll be able to get the four packs quite easily in most of the bigger supermarkets. And I really, really rate them. I have to, I can never get this right actually. I think one of these is actually a tonic water. The other two are soda waters. That's the tonic water. Uh, those two are soda waters there. But we've got pomegranate and basil, we've got cucumber and watermelon, we've got cranberry and ginger, plus that is a soda water. It's not a tonic, really, as how we would traditionally think it's a tonic water. But my absolute favourite out and out riff with Pims, and I've tried many of these, is that cucumber and watermelon. That with Pims is delicious, absolutely delicious. And I say it again, if you're in that pub and bar, pub and bar environment, yes, that's gonna cost you more than traditional lemonade off the gun, of course it is, but you can charge a damn sight more as well. And the final brand I wanna give a quick nod to in this video is because I've done a little bit with work with these guys in the past, I'm a big fan of these. These are uh, really low calorie soda waters. Again, they're definitely not tonic waters, they are soda waters. I've played a lot with that, the turtle juice, I love that with some rum, but it will kind of work in this vibe as well. It's like zero, um, I don't know what the actual sugar in there, but I don't, there's a tiny, there's like minimal amounts of sugar in there really, to be fair. But these three in their own right, We'll go with Pims. And the reason why I've got these on there is a Cardo. A Cardo in the UK, you can get these really easy now. Boxes, four packs, really, really easy. It's a big, huge thing for them. Uh, so I'm kind of, kind of proud of these guys, gonna love them. So you've got the Raspberry, which they call the Pink Punk. They've got the Sundowner, which is kind of like um, a less sweet version of Sprite and Lemon Lime Soda. I absolutely love it. But actually, in the middle, this is the one that I think, I've not tried it, but I think this is gonna be absolutely banging. This is like lemon, I forget what this called. What do they call this? Uh, it's, I forget, this is an older can. They've got, they've got a name for this and I can't think what the name is off, off the top of my head. But this is lemon and mint. And it's just musk, the muscovite, maybe something like that. It's just coming to me. Um, but that, the lemon and mint with that is just going to be amazing. So before I get into the syrups and the purees, just to give you some inspiration as well, uh, go and dive into the comments with all those mixes that I've shown you. Let me know, which, out of all those mixes, which one are you most excited about trying with your PIMS? Type that in the comments below. And then while you're down there, I would absolutely love it if you could smash that like button. If this video is really helping you, smash that like button because that really helps us put this video in front of more cocktail fans and then we can grow the whole community to help each other with other cocktail suggestions. So let's move on to step two then, riffing up the PIMS and lemonade into flavors with syrups and purees. What we do at Drink Stuff really well. We've got loads of 150 plus Monins, you know, 65 plus William Foxes, 25 plus ODKs, we've got a lot of them, plus all the Funkin' stuff as well. There's so much we can do here. But I've listed out a few that will be um, perfect for Pims. Now, if you're thinking Pims flavors, uh, I'm not sure. Don't forget, Pims have already tried this and we know it works. So Pims, in over the last sort of five, six years or so, uh, it's starting to rock out a couple of different flavors. They were short-lived, but there is a new one on the scene now. So the first one that they did was the strawberry and mint. So it was just like more punchy. It was the same thing essentially, but more punchy of strawberry vibes and uh, mint infused in there as well. So we had that. Then we had the blackberry and elderflower, which actually was my favorite. I really, really loved that. Really rich sort of dark blackberry notes coming through that. Um, and the elderflower vibes, really, really cool. Uh, and then no, they've got this, uh, I forget what it's called, the Sundowner, I think it's called? Yeah, the Sundowner, they've just released in 2022, uh, raspberry and red currant. So that is their new variation for 2022. We know, they're owned by Diageo. Diageo does it with Baileys, they do it with Smirnoff, they do it with Gordon's. We know Diageo are very good at flavoring up stuff. Now just to try and recreate a couple of those flavors really, really easy. If you were a big fan of the strawberry and mint, that is so simple to do because you just, we're playing no favorites here, it's just that I've absolutely got no mon in strawberry uh, here. So I've got William Fox's, I've got the ODK Puree, the fruity mix, both of those, 15 mil in there. If it's too sweet, use a Mediterranean tonic for example. 
and that'll be perfect instead of your lemonade. And then you just add more mint. You know, you just add more mint to your cocktail in there, stir it through, and you've recreated the strawberry, uh, strawberry mint pims. And then to recreate the blackberry and elderflower, again, no favorites, I'm really annoyed because I've got the, uh, the blackberry uh, monin at home, and I've also got the blackberry uh, ODK at home as well, so I, could, I should have brought those in. Um, but you, so you've got the whole blackberry there. We've got William Fox uh, that you could use there, and the ODK elderflower. Again, all the brands do all of those flavors, but it's simple, you know, split them. So 10 mil of blackberry, 10 mil of elderflower, maybe even five mil of that elderflower, because that really does punch through of the elderflower floral vibes. So, that, you know, 15, 20 mil of that tops. If you eliminate it, I promise you it won't be too sweet for a lot of you. Um, but there you've re easily recreated that old school blackberry and elderflower pims, which was my favorite out of the two. And then five more suggestions for you. I say five, that there should have been the ODK uh, watermelon, the watermelon, I've got that at home, that's mine. And again, I should have brought that home. But watermelon and pims will work a treat. That's gonna be a banger. But looking at the mon in here, hibiscus, hibiscus with, uh, with that would be absolutely delicious. A rhubarb puree as well, or fruity mix. Again, that's going to be absolutely amazing. Both of those from Monin uh, will work a treat in your Pims. And then a couple of the William Fox flavors as well. A cherry blossom will go hand in hand with Pims. Pomegranate, uh, this is a cracking one from George William Fox as well. All of those, plus, as I say, your watermelon will give you a put a whole different twist on your Pims. It'll be, help you wow your guests. But as I say, more importantly, pubs, bars, venues. You know, you can easily add for the cost that for the how much this costs, like 10, 15p for like say 15 mil, if that, you know, you can easily whack another pound onto your drink just because you're calling it a cherry blossom pims or a rhubarb pims or a hibiscus pims. You could probably get away with even more than that. So just have a play. So what I want you to do before we end this video, when you've got your ideas for your pims 2.0, I want you to go away and make it whatever flavor syrup, whatever pl flavor puree, whatever mixer you are making. I want you to take a photo of it and do one of two things. Either drop into our Discord, upload it into your cot because that's becoming quite active now. People are sort of uploading photos of there. Or if you're old school, if you're from 2020, uh, upload it to Instagram and then tag us in the actual photo and then we'll share some of the best ones to our stories. And I think for me, I'm not gonna make it, but I've just uh, I've just talked myself into this one. I think that's gonna be the next one I try. Uh, the peach and jasmine soda with hibiscus and pims. That to me sounds like rather tasty, rather scrumptious. So if you like that and you want even more inspiration for some of your other favorite cocktails, dive into that video right there.